What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a double top 100 pack opening. My main man Stop Hit Marker and Epsilon Joey have once again hit the big time and jumped into the top 100 of the weekly rewards. It is the best of October, I'm not going to lie. I'm not expecting big things from what I've seen. The best of October is literally all special cards. So we could see 1181 rated informs here. It could be catastrophic. Um, first of all guys, thank you for being here. If you could drop a thumbs up, that would be absolutely amazing. If you want to check out Stop Hitmarker and Epsilon Joey, links will be in the description below. We're going to start with Stop Hitmarker's Top 100 Packs. We're going to move on to Epsilon Joey's Top 100 Packs. And then lastly, we're going to go into my main account and go and do the marquee matchups to get that ultimate scream player. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to check those out, then links are there. So I guess this is a team that uh, Epsilon, the, sorry, that Stop Hitmarker was using. Uh, I assume he brings on Son as his super sub, most likely. Maybe Dembele. It seems to have a better output with Son. Look at, the, look at this account, man. Just look at this account. It's just beautiful. Look at this team. I think he's had this Ronaldo for a long time. Oh, no, wait. Who? Maybe it's Medibob that had the Ronaldo for a long time. But this team is just spectacular. Bra brand new acquisitions by looks of things. A lot of games on the Pogba, but nice team there from Stop Pit Marker. Let's get into his rewards, guys. Let's see where he finished in the week. I think it was quite low for him this week. Yeah, 86 for Stop Hit Marker. Usually, like, obviously, Stop Hit Marker got number one a couple of weeks ago in the world and generally finishes like real high. So 86 is quite low. 125,000 coins, two 100k packs, the top 100 best of pack. And as I say, I've seen, I've seen some bads, man. So two 100k packs. We start off with a walkout. What more do you want? You can't ask for much more than that. Um, two huge players. It's not, an, it's not a 90 plus walkout, so it's not a messy. It's gonna be a Di Maria. Um, oh wait, it's actually gonna be a Higuain. That's much better. 89 rated card is not bad at all to be able to pick up into uh, in, in the 100K packs. I don't know how much value he has, but that's not a bad reward in the slightest. And the new transferred Pepe. Very nice indeed. Pepe is expensive, looking like 20,000 coins or so. Who else have we got that might be transferred here? Um, Lamella, Thiago, Welbeck, Navas. Transfer Kalanoglu there. Um, I don't notice off the top of my head any more transferred cards here. That's not a bad pack at all, guys. Two transfer cards and a walkout 89. Two walkouts, actually, in that pack. Back to, like walk Two walkouts in, in one pack. Next up, we get our second 100k pack. This one is going to have Shinji Kagawa, 82 rated, 82 rated as the best card in the pack, shocking. Um, any transfer cards here though that might help us along a bit, nothing again that pops off straight away. There might be a transfer card in here, I, I just, I don't, I don't, you know, I haven't memorised every single transfer, but we'll send those to the club. And now this is the big one guys. I, I, I honestly think that for a top 100 pack, if you make in excess of 200,000 coins, you've done good just because of how poor it is. It's not a walkout, it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad, I can feel it. Oh man. How is this the reward for a top 100 player? 85 in for Mandzukic. <sighs> There's some all right players in here. But let, let, let's, let's, do, let's do a price check. We'll, we'll call it 20,000 for Mandzukic. We'll call it 30,000 for, um, for Adariz. So let's say 50,000 so far combined. Castiello. That takes up to 70,000. Valencia. Oh, that's not bad. 40,000 for him. That takes up to 110, and Salah's not bad either. So Salah's going to take us up to, oh wow, we'll say we'll say uh, 30, no, we'll say 20,000 for him. So 110, that's 130. This is going to be 20,000 max. Yeah, 150, and and I'm just like giving averages here, like uh, usually mostly undercutting as well. So that's 150, 170, 190, 210, 230. I mean, maybe 250,000 coins worth of cards here. Yeah, may maybe. At a stretch. You, you, th this is like 200 to 250,000 coins. You could discard it for 120,000, 110,000 coins. That, like, 
this dude finished top 100 in the world, and that's what he gets. That, guys, is the end of stock hit markers packs. Let's move on to Epsilon Joey. Okay, dudes, this is Epsilon Joey's account. A much different shaped team compared to stock hit markers. De Gea, look at that red De Gea. Oh, this, this is not, like, he got good red rewards. He did get good red rewards. Best, Vieira, Blanc, Neymar, Ronaldo, Kante, Martial. I mean, that is a top, top tier team, dudes. Top, top tier team. Let's see where Joey finished for the weekend league. I also believe Joey finished quite low. Yeah, 78th. Uh, for a change, the, the normal top dudes finishing relatively low overall. Um, I, I've been, like, I've been, to, you know, chatting on Twitter about some stuff, and, and it's like, it seems, you know, we, we made. Uh, let's open the top, the first 100k pack. We, we made about 200 to 250 thousand coins off a stop hit markers pack, and I don't think that's necessarily top tier value for a top 100 player, specifically after what was given out during team of the season. Oh my. That's an 81 rated. That 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 is that is most definitely the the worst 100k pack I have ever ever seen. Six 81s, four 80s, four 79s, two 77s and a 76, seven 75s. My God. Uh, yeah, I think I think uh, I think top 100 to, to get 200 250,000 coins. It seems like it's bad, right? But but oh, that's a big flare. Um, that's all black. That is. But it's also to be said that for 250,000 coins, you can buy a lot of team of the season cards with that. You know, a Marcus Alonso team of the season and Aspil Equator team of the season. So it's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, you have to get super, super lucky. That's another horrendous pack. That old black was quite nice, but um, yeah, you have to get super, super lucky to make much more. Let's go for a walkout, EA. No walkout again. I'm, so, I'm, I'm. I don't know what this is gonna be. It's Zonzi's first in form. It's another 85 rated player. I have a feeling. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. Specifically for people that consistently finish elite or top 100. I have a feeling um, this might be the last weekend that a lot of them play. Simply because for, for you to sit there and grind out 40 games, this, this is not worth it. This is not worth it. Um, you know, you, you, like, they already have so much in their clubs and so many coins and so much available. They already have their best teams that these extra few hundred thousand coins, this isn't even a few hundred thousand coins, this, this, this isn't 200,000 coins. I think, I think stop hit markers packs were better. 20,000 or less from Zonzi. Definitely 20,000 or less for Balotelli. Oh, 15K. No, literally none of these, are, like let's, we'll probably attribute maximum of 20,000 to each. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. This is a maximum of 180,000, probably closer to 120,000 there. Ziyech. The Screamer cards seem to have the, the best value. 30,000 for ZH. And Mario Gaspar. 50,000. I tell you what, these two Screamer cards saved that pack. They absolutely saved that pack. Um, without those, that actually puts it uh, probably about the same value. Literally, somewhere between 200 to 250,000 for Stop Hit Marker and somewhere between 200 and 250,000 for Epsilon Joey. Um, not, the, not even a walkout, not the greatest stuff. That's the end of the next top 100k pack. I'm now going to go onto my account and do the marquee matchups. All right, dudes, here we go. Hopefully I'll be able to do these, um, without too much problems. Hopefully I'll have already all the things in the club necessary. We'll start with this league. I haven't really opened too many bronze packs on this account, but, um, it would be nice if I've already got the bronze cards. Uh, we need to go to the Danish league. Brondby, do I have any Brondby players? Come on, don't don't tell me that. Yes, oh yes. Oh, the silvers. I don't necessarily want silvers. Uh, what was the other one? Nor is it Norseland? All right, so we've got a bronze here. Oh, Mitiland, not Norseland. Mitiland. I probably said that wrong. Okay, all silvers here as well. Um, so we we'll throw this guy in. Um, whoops. But it does look like I'm going to have this uh, available, no problem at all. Three nations minimum. Do I have enough bronzes from the Danish league to just do it? 
Do we have any? Yeah, bronzes. I'm going to need two spare nations. We've already got the right back covered. There's a bronze. We'll have to use a silver there, although that covers me for another nation. Three nations minimum. So I need one more nation in this. There you go. There's my, there's my final nation. There's all of those three done. We'll even pop him in there. And then we'll do the two strikers. Hey, I'm, I'm even going to do five nations. How about that? Nationalities minimum three. Job done on the first one. Rare consumables pack. Very nice. Very easy. Next up is the Swedish League. Uh, we need uh, two nations max, which means we'll go for a full Swedish league, Swedish team. Uh, AIK is one of the uh, one of the things required, like so. And now I literally just want a Swedish team because that goalkeeper is Canadian. Um, oh wait, I went low to high. I don't think I have enough Swedish players here. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, let me go to nation Sweden active position and we'll get in as many bronze Swedish players as possible. I'll use the silvers just because they're there. Normally I wouldn't, um, you know, like I'd prefer to use bronzes, but this is this is an account I, I don't really care for in terms of um, total profitability just because it's, it's an account I spent money on. So, you know, I didn't work hard for the coins I've got, but we've done that one. Another one bites the dust, a premium gold, gold players pack done. Next up, one Canadian, one Honduran. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go for the MLS, and we also need six silvers here, so we'll just go straight into the MLS. We'll just go low to high, and we will undoubtedly come across a Canadian and the silvers where necessary. Boom, we'll throw him in, boom. Uh, we need three, a few more silvers. We've got any Canadians here? No, we're putting Phillips there. <coughs> Still no Canadian yet. That's uh, m pl plenty of, uh, plenty of, Silvers, we'll do that, we'll do that. And then the striker, I must have a Canadian here. There we go, boom. So that should be that one done. He's not Canadian. Nepenthes, wakey, 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 wakey. Um, is there a Canadian here? Oh, Canada. Canadian, boom. So it's a centre mid, but it should still work. 89 chemistry. Come on, tell me I could just... I'm just going to use a position modifier. I think I have like a thousand CDM to send him in. So I've got 26. So for, oh, he's already on 10 chem. Brilliant. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can still use him. I just swap him around there. There we go. So that's that done. Um, again, massively overpaid for that. I feel like EA going to reward me in my packs for overpaying. Next up is Mexico against Jamaica. Three leagues minimum. Uh, let's go for Mexico. See what we've got in here. Mexico goalkeeper low to high again should have like plenty of players available mostly silvers because I don't do bronze pack method enough on this account I really should spend just one evening that's all one evening just opening bronze packs and just flooding my club full of players that are you know relevant um, so we've already got 80 chemistry here we need three leagues so let's just go for English League 2 pop an Englishman there and then we'll go here and we'll just go for it. Oh wait, gold players needs to be five. Okay, change of plan. Premier League. We'll throw Englishmen in here still. These are all untradeable for me as well. I don't want, I don't really want to use shinies. I'd rather use uh, non-shinies. So boom, boom. That's two golds. And then we'll go uh, here as well. And we'll just get three more golds. Preferably English. If I've got them, just because it help, it just makes it easier for chemistry. Bang, and then is that enough with Mark Noble? Yes, it is. There you go. Five golds, three leagues, minimum of two Mexicans, rare gold pack, and most importantly, we complete the marquee matchups and get ourselves the ultimate screen player, which is untradeable. <laughs> EA man, they just don't want to give you things. You know what I mean? They're doing their best to alienate their community towards the back end of FIFA. So we'll start off with our premium goal pack. We'll get one rare goal player, not too bad. Just gonna store everything into the club. I don't really care uh, what I get. A nice squad fitness card there. Herman the German is a duplicate. We'll send him up to the trade pile. We'll discard the uh, Nike or Dem ball, the Nike or Dem four. Two rare consumables packs, walkouts in the rare consumables packs. I would like draft tokens out of these. Position modifiers, nice. Fitness cards, nice. Obviously it's gonna drive the fitness card price down low for a couple of days. Uh, but generally not too long. Um, 
those weren't really the greatest. And then we get a 25k rare gold pack. I definitely think this marquee matchups is one of the best. You know, you get decent rewards for it. It's really easy, really cheap to complete. Um, we got nothing out of that either. We'll send the player up to the trade pile by way of nasting and discard the rest. But this is what we're looking for. I believe there's only one walkout and it's Thomas Muller. So we haven't got Thomas Muller. Come on, give me one of the good ones, EA. We get Budaboos. Not a bad card, for sure, but not one of the good ones. Um, and as I said before, untradeable. So we'll send him into the club. We're probably going to need him for a premium SBC tomorrow, which will be nice. This is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.